Okay, I'm no longer allowed to go to antique shops by myself. Let's look into some late 1800s 3D technology and how many moments in Galveston have been captured in more than two dimensions. Let's get into it. Welcome to Galveston Unscripted. Thank you to our video sponsor, The Daily News, bringing you the news since 1842, Texas' oldest newspaper. Support your local newspaper, The Daily News. If you see me walking around the island with weird looking antiques in my hand and decide to ask me what it is, be prepared to sit around for an hour. In many of my videos, the photos I use are from the Rosenberg Library and the Portal to Texas History. And I've been asked a couple of times, why do some of the photos look like they're duplicates? the same photo on the left and right. Well, I'm here to tell you about the stereo viewer or the stereoscope. This little contraption was extremely popular through the late 1800s and early 1900s. The stereo view cards look something like this, two photos taken side by side. These little contraptions essentially just trick our brain into making us think the photos are in 3D. So that is why a lot of the photos that you see posted online are essentially two photos and tons and tons of moments in Galveston's history have been captured in stereo view. Let's go to the studio and talk all about images in stereo. The stereoscope, an optical device that transforms flat images into mesmerizing 3D experiences. In a world filled with cutting edge technology, it's fascinating to discover that 3D imaging goes back over 180 years. The word stereo basically means from two sides or multiple angles. In 1838, Charles Wheatstone, a visionary fellow at the Royal Society in London, unveiled the stereoscope a device initially designed for investigating binocular vision. Little did he know, it would become an entertainment sensation. The stereoscope worked by presenting two slightly different angled images, and presented them through two lenses, or even angled mirrors. Early stereoscopes were large and cumbersome, but the design has evolved over time, to something like this, or even smaller ones that kind of look like binoculars. When these two images are inserted into the stereoscope viewer, it depicts the left and right eye views of the same scene as a single 3D image. The typical stereoscope provides each eye with a lens that magnifies the image seen through it and shifts its apparent horizontal position, resulting in the fusion of the two images into one stereo window. It also includes this divider or view limiting feature to prevent each eye from being distracted by the image intended for the other eye. Images like this could be captured on cameras with two lenses called a stereo camera, capturing the photos at slightly different angles, and then printed onto stereo view cards. When a curious person places the stereo view card into the stereoscope, they experience the image in 3D, as if they are there. This ingenious concept laid the groundwork for today's 3D images and movies, including virtual reality. You may have experienced the same concept with a more modern equivalent, the Viewmaster, or the like. I always love my little 3D dinosaurs. Whatever happened to them? Anyway, through the 19th and early 20th century, hobbyists and photographers around the world would create their own stereo images to be sold and enjoyed by the masses. And Galveston was not spared. Hundreds of stereo view images of Galveston can be found in antique shops and online in digital archives. If you happen to dive down the digital archive rabbit hole that is the Galveston and Texas History Center at the Rosenberg Library, you will find tons of stereo photos that were meant to be viewed through a stereo viewer. There is truly no way with my very limited editing skills to show you what these 3D images should actually look like on a 2D screen that you're watching this on. But if you ever happen to be down at an antique shop and see one of these, if you can, try it out. Or if you ever see me walking around with a stereo viewer, which might happen more often than you think, feel free to ask me if you can try it out. It's really, really cool. The stereoscope, an optical device that transforms flat images into mesmerizing 3D experiences. I just acquired these two stereo photos from an antique shop down the street. They were taken two days after the 1900 storm. I won't be showing them on screen because they are pretty graphic, but if you would like to see these stereo view images, go check the link in the description to the Galveston Unscripted website where I will post these stereo view images. When we view these little time capsules today, 
The past comes to life like we never could have imagined. As we navigate the ever-evolving landscape of technology, it's astonishing to trace back the origins of three-dimensional imaging back over 180 years. If you enjoyed or learned anything in this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And follow us on social media. We are everywhere. And if you haven't yet, go check out the podcast. We have hours and hours of historical content on that podcast feed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Galveston Unscripted.